Well, good morning, church. It's Trinity Sunday. Today we're going to be talking a lot about the Trinity. And I think it really needs to begin with John chapter 17, the, the eve when Jesus was betrayed. And during this evening of his betrayal, our Lord Jesus, he, he has this famous prayer, what was called his high priestly prayer. And in this priestly prayer, he prays up for all people who would eventually believe upon him. And he says something to this effect. He says, Father, I pray that all that believe upon me eventually, after the apostles, because of their work, he says that, that all that who would believe may all be one, as you, Father, are in me, and I in you. May they also be one in us, that the world may believe that you have sent me. I have given them the glory which you gave me, that they may be one, even as we are one. I in them, and you in me, that they may be perfect in unity, and that the world may know that you have sent me, and have loved them as you, Father, have loved me. In church, it's in this beautiful prayer of our Lord Jesus, he himself is inviting us into life with the blessed Trinity, to be loved by the Father, to be united to himself, and to partake of their glory, the Holy Spirit. And the acceptance of this invitation, it's, it's expressed in our baptismal formulas because we are baptized into the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. And to be baptized into someone's name means to enter into their authority, their ownership, and be into relationship with them. In fact, church, the entire Christian life, as we understand it, is fellowship with the Blessed Trinity. To be children of the Father members of Christ's body, and temples of the Holy Spirit. Simply.